A signature program is one of the most powerful and effective ways any studio can deliver reliable and consistent revenue, all while fostering long-term commitment and loyalty from the client. Now, the added bonus of a signature program is that it is all yours. No one else can deliver what you deliver inside your very own program. So in today's episode of the Pilates Business Podcast, I'm going to walk you through exactly what is a signature program, how to create a program that really delivers and how to get started with creating, designing and delivering your very own signature program. Well, hi there. I'm Sarah Glanfield. I'm a business and marketing strategist just for boutique fitness studio owners like you. If you're ready to be inspired and make a bigger impact, you're in the right place. All you need are a few key strategies, the right mindset, and some support along the way. Join me as I share the real life insights that will help you grow a sustainable and profitable studio. This is the Pilates Business Podcast. Welcome back to the Pilates Business Podcast. I'm Sarah Glanfield, and I am the founder and chief CEO and strategist at Spring3. And I am thrilled that you're here with me today. And we're going to be talking all about your signature program. Now, this is something that I've been a huge advocate of for many, many years because my biggest thing when it comes to helping studios, especially when it comes to developing your marketing strategies, is helping you find ways to stand out. And what I've seen from working with hundreds of studio owners around the world, that is that no two studios do what they do in exactly the same way, right? With the way that you teach, the experience you deliver, the atmosphere that exists in your studio, um, the energy that you create inside of your classes, inside of your sessions, it's, it, it's all unique to you and your business. And by sort of um, developing that further and evolving that further into creating and designing a specific experience for your clients, and then taking that and packaging it into a signature program means that what you're able to deliver and create then is something that is not rep- 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 able to be replicated um, by anyone else. And so I love studio uh, when studios are able to create their very own signature programs. And here's why. Many studios and studio owners will fill up their schedule with a variety of classes, with different offerings, with different types of classes, and hoping that that clients will show up. And the problem is that when that happens and when they don't show up, um, your client, your studio will lose out on revenue and your clients will lose out on getting results. Right. And so we are just, if we are sort of waiting for people to show up in our studio and we're not being proactive about how often they should come, about encouraging them to come more often, about telling them specifically how many times they should be coming and about giving them exactly that stepping step-by-step kind of a path to the outcomes and the amazing benefits that your studio has to offer and can deliver on, then we are kind of letting it all kind of hang out there and just sort of wait to see what happens. And I'm, you know, if you know me by now, you know, I'm not kind of a fan of just sort of like waiting for business to come your way. I'm all about taking a very proactive approach, taking control of your business. And that is how you are able to go out there and create and generate revenue and success for yourself. So when it comes to creating a signature program, instead of delivering perhaps this just sort of um, ongoing series of weekly sessions, um, it, it may be something to think about, thinking about packaging what you do into a specific offer, packaging what you do into a, a fixed term perhaps, or a, um, a fixed sort of duration program um, that gives a very specific outcome for your clients. It's designed specifically for your clients and t- and incorporates all of those very special things that you give and deliver for your clients. Now, there are many benefits to both you and your clients in putting together a program like this. And I want to talk a little bit more about the whys and the hows of designing a signature program that gets real results, not just for your clients, but for you and your business also. 
So why would you want to offer a signature program? (laughs) Why would you want to do this? Well, here's why. Here's why I'm a big fan, because enrolling your clients into a program that encourages commitment over a specific period of time commits you more to each other, right? But it also gives you the opportunity to give them some very specific outcomes or results for your clients, right? It also encourages them to more than likely they will need to come a certain number of times to the studio, um, take some very specific action to move them towards the outcome and result that you know is possible for them. Putting that into a program means that you've both kind of come together with an agreement of exactly what you both are going to do to get there. And when you have a very specific set of outcomes or results that you know your clients are going to get, it's much, much, much easier to market than vague or generic outcomes, right? And oftentimes what happens is when we are inviting people into our business and we are um, perhaps uh, bringing them into our studios and into our classes for the first time, because we know that they, they need to be coming every week you know, forever, right? That there isn't kind of an end date. So there's not really this sort of specific, clear kind of timeline as to when they're going to start to feel or see um, results um, that they want, right? And so when you start to sort of break it down and and into a, a program with a fixed duration, say that has some specific results, it's a lot easier to market. It's a lot easier for your clients to understand exactly kind of what that timeline looks like, exactly what's expected of them right? So it's kind of a win-win, but there are some important considerations to take into account to make sure that both you and your studio both win big. And what I'm talking about here is a well-designed plan for the way that your clients work with you, okay? So instead of kind of leaving it up to them to decide how and when they come to class or which session to take or which class to book, you can give them a very specific plan that lasts one or three or even maybe six or 12 months. And then once you kind of have thought about that most amazing experience you can give your clients, then you can design your pricing and your packaging around what that looks like, okay? So to get started, as you're kind of, I can, perhaps you're the, the wheels are starting to kind of turn and you're starting to think about how this could look for you and your business. I want to give you some three kind of big um, components and considerations to take into account when you're thinking about how you can um, incorporate perhaps a signature program into your business. Okay. Number one is you'll want to start When it comes to designing a program, you'll want to start with what is most important to your clients. What do they want to get out of their work with you? Now, if you've worked with me directly um, ever, you know that this is a huge part of what we work through, um, especially inside of my marketing intensive program. We work on understanding your clients, looking for the signs um, and observations um, that help us understand why they're there. Because when we understand why they're there, we can understand how we can help them better and give them more of what they want, right? So we really need to get, we need to understand why our clients are coming to us and what's important to them. So that's number one. Number two is we want to think about what price point would make most sense for the, m- would make sense for this offer. Okay. And when it comes to price, we're looking at a couple of different things. Number one, we're going to make sure that we're covering our costs, that we are making a profit. All right. So if you are incorporating, say, one-on-one sessions um, inside of your signature offer, you'll want to make sure that you're covering the cost of a one-on-one session inside of your inside of your new offer, inside of your signature program. Okay. And we want to make sure that we start with that price point. Then we'll want to think about, okay, what is the value of these out of this outcome? for our clients. And then we'll want to think about, okay, what does that look like in terms of a price point um, that would make sense for this type of a package? Okay. And then finally, the last thing to take into consideration is how many clients will you need to enroll to meet your revenue goals? And does that match the capacity that you have in your, in your business or in your schedule? Okay. 
So those are the three things to can take, take into consideration to get started. Number one, what is most important to your clients? Number two, what price point makes most sense for this offer? And number three is how many clients will you need to enroll to meet your revenue goals? I want to take a deeper dive into these three components with a little bit of an example. So let's say, for example, your clients, you know that they come to you because they want to feel energized and strong and perhaps a little less stressed. And you know, as the expert in what you do, that in order to achieve that, they need to come to say three sessions a week, three classes a week. And they need to come for, and they need to do that for at least say six weeks or maybe even three months. And you know that if your clients do that, they will absolutely feel stronger and more energized and probably less stressed. And they will therefore perhaps want to keep coming for another six weeks or three months, right? And that that will continue on and on. And so pricing, as I mentioned, is the second component. And that should be set based on your costs, of course, and your desired profit margins. And if you've never um, it never uh, really mapped out your uncalculated um, uh, or projected your income um, or your revenue, then this is certainly an easy uh, a time that I would encourage you to do that for, for yourself and for your studio. Um, it's something that I work through with my, uh, my, my studio owners inside of my Thrive group coaching program. Um, it's something that I work with often with all of my studio owners because we want to make sure that we're covering our costs and we're making a profit so that we have income at the end of the day, right? So we want to make sure that we're pricing based on a, a good solid profit margin, um, that you're covering your costs and you're probably taking into account the market rate for, you know, what might be, uh, what else might be happening in your area and, you know, what might be appropriate for your clients. Okay. Now with your price set, you're going to run the numbers to see how many clients you need to enroll in order to meet perhaps those revenue goals for your studio. And that will help you to understand exactly what you need to be doing, exactly the type of program you need to, to, to design and make sure that they are all aligned with your goals. Okay. By getting very specific about these points, you can create a program that will deliver specific and reliable results to your clients while also making your revenue targets, okay? And seeing your studio really thrive with clients that really enjoy their sessions with you and are really feeling like they're getting a lot out of their sessions. And you can design a marketing strategy around those results with an established goal of enrolling a specific number of clients. Now, one of the ways that I see a lot of studio owners in to develop their signature program. And one of the reasons why they enjoy doing this is because oftentimes um, I, it, it works great when um, studio owners and teachers have perhaps a couple of different modalities that they use to serve their clients. And, in, and creating that signature program is a great way to incorporate uh, perhaps different learnings um, from different um, kind of areas that you that don't maybe don't always go together. Um, and it can be a great way to give that amazing experience to your clients and help them to perhaps elevate their well-being and their happiness and their movement practice with perhaps some additional support, um, perhaps some diff, um, additional um, encouragement, perhaps some extra uh, TLC as well um, that will help them just perhaps get some next level kind of um, access to you and to and, and tap into perhaps a, a stronger um, sense of self and well-being. And when you are able to design a program that really incorporates all of your amazing special talents and gives an incredible experience to your clients, you're going to create what we call these, um, these superstar um, brand ambassadors and champions of your business because they're the people who um, love what you do and you're going to give them perhaps this sort of VIP elevated access to you and what you know and um, how you can help them. And when you bring those people into your business and you show them even more of what you can help them to achieve, then you will find that they stay with you even longer. Okay. So thinking about your signature program, your signature offer is, is really in thinking about the way that you 
would love to work with your clients, the way that you would, what you would love to see every single one of your clients do um, when they come into your studio and making that kind of like the, 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 you know, the, 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 the offer and the package that is, you know, highlighted with, you know, all those bright, shiny lights on it. And that, that, that is the, the, the go-to kind of signature program that you offer. And it doesn't mean that you have to offer it all year round. It may be something that you only offer once a year or twice a year or however you want to do it. It can be something that incorporates online as well as in person. It can be something that incorporates one-on-one sessions as well as group classes. There's so many, um, there's so many ways to develop and build your signature program. Um, but it's something that I really encourage you if you're passionate about helping your clients, you have a lot of different ways that you like to work with your clients, then creating that signature program um, is a really great way to incorporate all of that. And inside of my marketing intensive program, I actually have an entire um, module lesson dedicated to the step by step of how to design, how to create, and how to build out that signature program and run it for the very first time. We cover everything from pricing to um, how to set that up online, how to deliver it in person, and the specific marketing uh, tactics and strategies and tools that you will need to successfully launch your very own signature program. So if it's something that you are interested in, then let me know and I'll point you in the right direction. Okay. So by getting very specific about, um, you know, how you want, what your clients, uh, what's important to your clients, what do they want to get out of their work with you? Um, thinking about the price point, um, and then what, who, who, who the program is for, um, and, um, how many clients you'll need to enroll. Those are the things you kind of want to get very specific about before you kind of proceed down the path of actually building it out and so on. You kind of want to get that all kind of figured out first. Okay. And then as you um, begin to develop the program and build it out, um, you're going to need to eventually bring it to your clients and market it to them. And you really want to um, consider these following four points when it comes to communicating um, about your signature program to your clients, the clients you think who would really be interested in your in your program. Okay, number one is you're going to want to be very clear about the value of your program, the results that they will achieve, and the specific difference they're going to get from your program versus what they're doing right now. Okay, you also want to be super clear and very transparent about what you're going to charge over what period of time for your program. Okay. And you're going to want to tie that to the outcomes and the benefits and results they're going to get from your program. You also want to be very clear about how you will deliver the program, how your, your clients will be able to access this program. Is it going to be online? Is it going to be in person? Or is it going to be a combination of both? You'll also want to be really clear about how much interaction and engagement they have with you or your teachers. Um, and specifically, you know, what is involved um, and what's expected of them and also what you will be giving them as part of the program. Okay. Finally, you want to have a pretty fun name for your signature program. Um, you're going to be talking about this program quite a bit. In fact, I'd encourage you, you might actually be talking about it every day, depending on, um, depending on how you decide to run the program. So having a, a great name will make it all that bit easier to sell. Now, what we know or what I know from working with studio owners that have created their own signature offer is that it really helps studios to stand out and to create stronger relationships with their clients and improve overall retention rates and increase revenues, which is really all of what we want, right? Um, And all of those things lead to really longer lasting results for everyone. So you as a studio owner and your clients as well. Okay. So there you have it. We covered the whys, we covered the hows of designing your, your signature program, um, and a program that gets real results, not just for your studio, but for your clients too. And I've, like I said, I've helped a lot of studio owners, just like you create those signature programs and help that was help them to really elevate their revenue, um, and, and, and really added an additional revenue uh, stream into their business. So if you've got questions about how to create a signature offer, let's chat. I'd love to talk through with you some, um, what you're thinking about. You can always, um, send me a DM. I'm on Instagram 
at saran underscore spring underscore three. I'd love to hear your ideas and love to talk them through with you. Okay. So reach out to me on Instagram and let me know what you're thinking. Let me know what you're working on when it comes to your signature program. I'm going to add my, uh, the link in the, in the show notes as well. So you can go check that out. I'm also going to add a link to, um, a little bit more information about the marketing intensive. We will be opening up enrollment very soon to that program. So if it's something you're interested in, let me know so I can make sure you get on the early bird wait list. Um, and I will look forward to hearing from you. So I hope this was helpful to you as you think about ways that you can develop your boutique fitness business, as you think about ways that you can generate additional revenue in your business. And I'm here to help answer all of your questions. All right. So I don't want you to um, ever miss another episode of the Pilates Business Podcast. If it's helpful to you, I want you to go and leave a review, um, a quick review. um, And and then that's a great spot to also share um, your questions as well. So I do refer to that quite a lot as well. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Pilates Business Podcast. Be sure to never miss another episode by hitting that follow or subscribe or like or plus or whatever the button is these days. And I will see you next time. Did you love this episode and want more? Head to spring3.com and check out my free resources that will help you run a profitable and fulfilling studio business. And before you go, one last reminder, there is no one way to do what you do, only your way. So whatever it is that you want to do, create or offer, you've got this. Thanks again for joining me today and have a wonderful rest of your day. Mm